In this video, we'll be calculating the earthworks required to construct our road. We'll select volumes, exact, tin to tin. As the original tin, I'll select the ground tin. And for the new tin, I'll select the RS1 road tin. Now at the same time as calculating the earthworks volumes, we'll also be producing a color plot, which shows the extent of cut and fill across the project. We need to set up a range file to set the cut and fill intervals of the color plot. So I'll select the folder icon and select open. And in this panel, we'll enter the intervals as well as the corresponding color for each interval. We can get 12D to populate the range file for us by right clicking on the top left of the table and selecting populate depth range. In these from and to fields, we'll input a broad range of cut and fill that cover our project maximums. So just looking at our long section, I'd think something like four meters of cut, which is displayed as negative, and four meters of fill, which is positive, will be about right. We'll use an interval of one meter, uh, so there aren't too many small intervals, and a start color of red, and an end color of green, uh, because they are the cut and fill default colors. Then select populate. And the range file will be populated in the depth range file panel. Then we need to give the depth range file a name. We'll call it stage one and enter. Then select write to write it out to our working folder. We can then close these depth range file panels. And then back in our volumes panel, we need to actually select that range file in the field. So pick the folder icon then pick the stage one depth range file from this window, which links directly to the project working folder. We won't worry about what plan view to paint means. So we'll move on to the model for faces field, which is the model that the color plot will be created in. I'll just type in stage one color plot. I'll tick on the clean faces model beforehand tick box. What cleaning of a model means is that all the data in the model is deleted, but the model itself is not. So essentially what ticking this on means is that if we process this panel multiple times, we're not going to get multiple instances of this color plot because each time we run it, the results model is made empty beforehand. And I'll just name the report file stage one volumes. and then select volume. When we do that, a report file will open and we can see in this summary table here that there are incremental and accumulative cut and fill values being reported for each of the intervals that we specified in the depth range file. So we can see that the vast majority of the cut quantity is occurring within the zero to one meter range of cut. And for the fill, the majority is also within the zero to one meter fill range. But there is also a significant amount of fill in the one to two meter range. So that's interesting. Uh, but ultimately what we really want to know is the total cut and total fill, which is reported to us at the bottom of the report, along with the balance, which is the excess cut or fill. In this case, we have a fairly significant fill excess. Now the degree to which this matters will be dependent on factors like the cost of importing and exporting material to and from site, and also possibly whether there are locally acquirable sources of fill material, such as from nearby excavations. I'll close this report and I'll add the model stage one color plot to the plan view. And you can see the colors which show the degree to which we are in cut and fill across the project in line with the colors we assigned in the depth range file. Now, an important thing to note is that these earthworks quantities don't allow for any road pavement. Depending on the design of the pavement, which could be anywhere from 600 millimeters to a meter deep, 
When applied across the width of the road and along the almost one kilometer length of this road, this could easily result in an extra 5,000 cubic meters of net cut, which would actually make this project require the exportation of cut material rather than what these numbers suggest, which is fill to be imported. The precise pavement quantities, which will be further itemized down into the asphalt wearing surface, any base and sub-base courses, as well as the concrete curb quantities, though not calculated in this project, are an essential part of civil design. Uh, and these are covered in more advanced 12D model courses. I'll keep this exact volume between tins panel open and filled out as it is for the next video.